Having built my base and my little drone army, it's time to start my reign of terror on the citizens of this Earth-like planet. But like any good pirate, I need a bit of stealth, a portion of good firepower, and try to incorporate a sense of uncertainty and fear on the citizens. So a series of outposts to ambush and help pin down my victims is next on the agenda. So, I want these outposts to be the absolute bare minimum to keep my drones on guard. A connector and a wind turbine. I'm even going to do without a battery because it really isn't necessary as a wind turbine should supply all the power I need to keep the drones recharged. In my first attempt, I figured I'd just ride the drone to each location, carry on me or inside the drone all the materials I need for the tiny build, and then just jetpack home to get the next drone. It seemed like a good idea, but I planned for it poorly and ran way short on materials, or so I thought. Fast forwarding to a spoiler, it wasn't until several days later I realized I had all my drone's connectors set to throw out, so all the materials I had stored had just been thrown back into my base's storage. But I didn't know that at the time, so I went back to the base and filled up my welder with some materials and brought that over to finish the job. Now, this job of building these ambush outposts is turning out to be harder than I planned. This valley is the home of an entire faction, and the citizens over time have scattered lots of little constructs all over the place, some only partially built. For my little drone to work right, I'll have to clear or take over ownership of any that are within 2,500 meters of my base. Otherwise, my drones will go fly off and attack some random enemy owning a drill platform rather than an actual base with resources. So I had to fix that. The other thing I had to do with each drone is set up each one with their unique coordinates for each landing location. Fortunately, the new AI blocks make this super easy and I did a little trick to help things out. All I do is take control of the drone and in the hot bar of the drone, I set a key to set a waypoint in the recorder block. I have one key for the departure path and another key for the return. So I just fly the little drone, boink the two keys, fly a little more, hit them again, until I have my four standard waypoints set. I also have to set up actions at some of the waypoints. It's not too terribly arduous, and I suppose I could make disposable one-way drones that just fly off in the connector and go attack, but setting the waypoints and actions was the plan. You've got a plan. Yes. I don't even believe you have a plan. I have part of a plan. I'm thinking hopefully that they'll be able to come back intact. Now, after this first drone setup, I'm still looking to acquire some silver and thought maybe I could do a little in-person recon around the big blue rover I spotted earlier and find a way in. I even thought I might have found some lucky silver in a small crater near his rover and base, but that was a bad idea. I got shot in the head, but during one of my return trips to get my body and gear, I ran across an interesting find. I found a wreck of what seemed to be a small grid miner near my base. Now, Boromino is the owner of this wreck and also the one who owns the Big Blue Rover. And we've been talking about mixing it up some, so I don't know exactly what he was up to with this ship. Maybe to spy, maybe to get some resources, but it was definitely a curious find. Maybe one of my drones intercepted it and shot it down, but who knows? Back at my base, it's time to do a little modding and maybe get better set up for placing more outposts. That first attempt didn't go so well. I'll add a few connectors to the top of my big miner, and that way I can carry several drones at once, along with ample supplies, and use the big all-purpose miner as a remote mobile base during my setup. After all, it has a survival kit and a cryo chamber. So if I die, I spawn right back close by. Okay, so with mod 2.0 in the future, I'll set the connectors a little farther apart, but this would do for now. Flying back to the valley with multiple drones and using the big ship feels like a better move and much more convenient because I don't always get a chance to play for extended periods 
and often have to log in and out and take care of other things. So yeah, having a convenient logout point is the right move. This second attempt at outpost setup went smoother, and I stumbled across a nice find. While scavenging an enemy drill rig for components, I found a silver mine. I had to hand drill it, but it was exactly what I needed. One thing I really wanted was to be able to create a medical room and a cryopod at the base. Up to now, the only repair block I had was my Big Miner's survival kit, and the Big Miner's cryopod was the only logout point. This silver is going to give me a lot more options, and even though it's not a lot, it was great. Next was a little fake attack on Boromino. We'd been talking and he invited me to come check out his rover and drone capabilities. It's important to at least test things out and see if they work. So I got within range and got to witness a cool drone replicator setup he seemed to have inside the rover. Very clever. What I saw was a drone wiggle around and then fall off the rover. So obviously not a perfected system, but at least things were happening. I love to see it. My pile of crash dummies figuring out the AI grid blocks was pretty big myself, so I get it. What happened next was cool and surprising. He manually released a drone, and it came at me, guns a-blazing. Fortunately, the big miner had enough basic defenses to take it down, but the gauntlet was on the ground, and I was smiling, so things were only going to heat up from here. I did manage to set up another couple outposts, but at this point, I had to only hope for the best that my little drones could fend for themselves until I could come back later and add a little extra support to the army. The next day, I came back to the valley with the whole entourage, the big miner, the welder, more drones, and proceeded to continue my outpost setup. I also decided to do a little more testing of the flight paths and docking, because things seemed a little weird. I went to go check on a couple of my prior drone setups and found a dislodged drone sitting on the ground and damaged, particularly its guns, and a damaged connector platform. Now, this could have been from my drones that flew poorly and maybe exploded a connector, or it could be that Boromino was up for a little retaliation from me setting up drone armies in his vicinity and deciding to take out the threats. I mean, that's what I probably would have done. So this time, when I set up my pirate ambush outposts, I added various mixtures of stationary turrets for a little extra defense of the platforms and provide that extra bit of, we'll call it pirate harassment. But I wanted to make sure at least my flight setup was working to reduce the chance that things were happening due to my own failures. I found other evidence though. The wreckage of a Boromino owned drone near one of my outposts. And drones of my own that had also been downed. So the evidence is right here. The game is on. I'm gonna cut your heart out with a spoon! Then it begins. Next is to set up a small ambush. Boromino is a very aware player. He right away noticed multiple drone signals in his proximity as soon as I started setting them up, so I wasn't too worried about setting up a small trap. He had moved his big rover away from his main base. This big rover is also the main point of defense and weaponry for his base both with turret weapons mounted on the rover and drones. So while it's moved away, I'm placing a couple more of my small pirate attack platforms on each side of the track he'd almost certainly follow to get back home. Just something I'll have to deal with. He may take some fire before realizing what's going on. I just hope he doesn't take too much damage. But it will keep his rover away for a little longer in case he logs on. Because it's time for a little raid on his base while his rover's away, and his base has minimal defenses. Like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode when I go on a little pirate raid and try to come away with some resources. See you next time.